Hi guys, welcome back. Yes, welcome to the live stream, guys. Today is February 20th, 2022. The time is almost 12 noon. Welcome to beautiful Portland, Oregon. It's nice and sunny outside, guys. So, welcome to you all, guys. Uh, let's see. Guys, if you can see me and you can hear me, could you please uh, write me a comment so I know that you are getting all the uh, the visual and, and the voice. Okay? Let's see. I don't have anybody coming in yet, so I'm just going to wait for you guys to come in. Let's see. Today is going to be... Uh, is today going to be a short one, guys? Uh, I'm not feeling well. You can see it on my own. You can, uh, yeah, you can see it on my voice, you know? So I'm just going to wait. Two people here. Hi, welcome. Please let me know if you can hear me and you can see my, the picture well. Hello, welcome to the live stream, guys. So I have one person. Welcome, welcome. Yes. Okay. So let me just have a seat while I wait for more people to, uh, to log in, to come in. I'm so happy you're here, guys. Uh, let's see. Let me just... Open. Hi, Rashida. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Jean. Uh, Jean B? Yeah, oh, Gina. Hi, Gina. Welcome. Hi, Val. Okay, great. Thank you. So, guys, like I was saying at the beginning, uh, I'm not feeling well. I have like a uh, like a sinus infection. So, that's why my voice sounds like this, you know. So, I, I don't have any candles uh, lit up today because I think I ever did it. Uh, having those seven candles, I uh, was running that test, you know, all at once. So, it's really did a number on me. So, I feel better, you know. And, yeah, that goes on. Okay, guys. Oh my God. I got, hi, Jackie. Let me just put you on, on, on the other camera. Okay, so now I can see you and I can. Uh, okay, let me just put you guys over here now more. Guys, you guys, uh, do you have all that, uh, a nice week? Yeah, I was very busy, guys, working on these videos for Candle Science. You know, I was very happy that I was able to make this review for you guys, you know, and I was very happy with their, all the results. You know, uh, thank you, Val. I'm, I'm feeling good. You know, it's just my voice and it's just like a headache. You know, when you get like a sinus uh, infection, I'm always propensed to sinus infections. You know, so I just, I just need to take a lot of an uh, uh, aspirin. I, I'll take an uh, Advil, and that's the only thing I can do. You know. Yes. Okay, guys. So let me talk to you about the new fragrance oils. You know, I hope you guys like my videos that I put in there. You no, know, I am very pleased. With all this, you know, it's, you know, it's, it's been a while since I tested some, uh, since I use kind of sciences, fragrance oils, you know, and uh, I think for the price point, I think it's, 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 it's a great choice for all of us to, you know, to really explore, you know, and so yeah, so I have them in here. Let me just change the cameras so I can show you. So let me zoom it in now. Okay, so have them in here, guys. Yeah, let me just go closer. Let me just bring this closer. Hold on. Okay. Let me just zoom out. Okay, let's see. Hi, Paula. Val, do you do you uh, do you try the the fragrance oils? Do you like them? You know, it's, I have to say, guys, do you remember on the video, uh, on the video I said that, you know, uh, when I was reviewing the, the fragrance oils, I'm in shock because this one in here, why, why eucalyptus? Remember, it's the one that I didn't like as much. This one turns out to be my favorite fragrance from all of them, maybe because, uh, Yesterday when I was performing the uh, the HD test, it made me feel so much better. You know, it's like it clear all my sinuses. You know, and just like make me feel relaxed, and it I, it kind of healed me yesterday. You know, so I I'm very grateful for this candle, guys. Beautiful. Yes, they're very good, and you know what? You know what I like the most? Even I am so happy, guys. Hold on. I am so happy that I decided to use uh, the PB600 wax on this test. I I'm saving my soy bliss to do my, my candle line, so I'm not touching that because I have a limited amount. And uh, so I have a lot of these pro uh, PB600, and I have to tell you guys, uh, this gave me amazing CT, and it's giving me an amazing HD. And even, even with all those different week series that I use, 
I am so impressed, guys, with this PB600. Uh, you know, if you don't have a chance to get Soy Bliss, uh, just check this one out, okay? It's from Flaming Candle. Okay, and check it out, okay? Hi, PS. Hi, more. Hi, PS Hunter. Yeah, so I'm very happy, guys. And this wax, we have, we have to cure for two weeks. So if I'm getting good results in a couple of days, can you imagine in two weeks? You know, beautiful. So, you know, I mean, the city is getting stronger now. Okay, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and give you the uh, the results from the HD test, okay? What I did is... Oh, oh, by the way, guys, don't forget to take advantage of uh, Jeff Stanley's candle test sheet, okay? These are very useful, you know? And in the back of them, they have these... The candle math formulas. Hi, Susie from PS Hunters. Welcome. Polo Susie, okay. Okay, Susie, welcome. Okay, guys, so like I told you in the video, don't forget to get this, okay? This one in here is gonna tell you how to get the the uh, the wax weight, you know, using water. It's gonna tell you, it's gonna show you how to find the correct uh, amount of oil that you need and according to the amount of wax that you have in here, guys. Uh, and it's gonna help you find the percentage of the oil that you need, okay? So this in here, don't forget to go to the website, stanleyhandcrafted.com and also West Sound Candle Supply, okay? This is very good, useful, guys, and I think, you know, like I have a person in here in the wall, so I won't forget, you know, uh, the way I used to figure out my oil, my fragrance oil is by using an app on my iPhone, but when I film, I need the iPhone, so this is very useful, and it's good for you to, to get used to it, you know, and don't get used to uh, an app, you know? Okay. Oh, she knows uh, Buttercup. I got this. Go here. Go to this website in here. You have to go to uh, to Stanley website, uh, Stanley Handcrafted, or to Western Candle Supply, and just follow follow the link, you know, and you're gonna find it for free over there. Okay, this is very useful. Again, it gives you all the uh, the cat mass formulas, and in the back, it, it gives you all this. You know the candle sheet test, okay? So you can write all the information there. Yes, yes. Okay. It's 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 amazing, guys. Okay, so let me start with. Okay, guys, do you have any questions for me before I start the review? Okay, so let's start with fragrance number one. Okay, I I, I did them in alphabetical order, so it doesn't mean that this one is the best and the other one is not. Okay, so this one is Apricot Grove. Okay, so I used Eco 8 for this for this test, okay? I need to wake up because it, the melt pool was not, was not as good. Uh, okay, it has a very strong HT, guys. After one hour, I was able to get beautiful HT, okay? Now, one thing that I have to note about this is this has a very deep apricot and nectarine uh, notes. So uh, for that reason, I'm not too, um, it's not my favorite, you know, but for those people, for those of you guys that like to have that, uh, that uh, the fruity, sweet notes of apricot, uh, apricot and nectarine, you are going to love this one, okay? Strong apricot notes makes this a scent most for spring and summer, for those of you that like you know, to have this kind of scent, okay? It makes a statement, sure it does, okay? And they're gonna remember you, uh, they're gonna remember this scent because of that of that reason, okay? And this is a fun fragrance, oil, you know, just to relax and just have fun during the summer and the spring. Beautiful. Okay. And guys, I try to describe, I try to describe the scents as best as I can, you know, my English vocabulary is not as extensive as I would I would like to be. You know, I'm gonna start reading more about how to describe a scent, you know, so I can give you a more clear uh, sense of what I'm trying to tell you, you know. But uh, until that happens, uh, please bear with me, you know, and this is the way, uh, the first thing that comes to my mind, this is what I tell you, okay? It's, I mean, I, I just wanna sound honest and I just wanna give you the way I feel. And I think that's really, it's what counts when it comes to this. Okay, so 
Scent number two is cashmere musk. This one. Okay, this one is amazing, guys. You know what I love about this? It's like a, I love the, the, the mix of vetiver and the powder and the dark moss together. You know, it's make it very masculine, very sexy, you know? So, okay. So for that candle, I use the zinc core. 44, 28, no, 44, 24, 18. And it didn't work out for this, you know? But I have to say, guys, as I burned it for over an hour, it gave me a very, a very good HD, okay? That's why I'm telling you, I'm very surprised about PB600 and the way uh, the results that it gave me. Okay, beautiful and sophisticated blend, unique, what is that? Uh, characteristics. Makes this uh, a must have for spring and summer, okay? Citrus enhances this sophisticated scent, okay? Beautiful. Uh, the most balances uh, the blend, okay? So, yeah. Like I told you, the base notes of vetiver powder and dark uh, dark moss it really makes this candle okay very romantic. You know, for a romantic for a romantic evening, this is going to be perfect. Oh, thank you, Rashida. Thank you. Okay, I'm testing. These are these vessels are the teal tumblers from Candle Science. They are three inches in diameter. Okay, and I think they, they held uh, 11 and a half out. No, let me see. Let's see how much I use of wax in here. Hold on. Let me get the paper. Okay, I use... For each one, I use 9.46 ounces of wax, okay? And I use, actually, yes. This one holds 9.46 ounces of wax, but because I did only the half candle amount, I only use 4.73 ounces, okay? That's why, you no, know, I'm telling you this. So, again, I use his formula. It works like a charm. It was really nice. Okay, candle number three is okay. Uh, PS Hunter, you said you tried PB six hundred and didn't have any 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 luck with it. Okay, uh, which fragrance oil do you use when you try the PB six hundred? That's that that is key with any wax. You know, if you have a good a good scent. It's gonna work on any wax. That's what I believe, you know? Okay, the next one is Coconut Soleil. Thank you, Va. Okay, Coconut Soleil. Lo I love the top notes of Amaretto and Pineapple. I love, a when I used to drink, I used to love Amaretto, you know? That for me was like a, a, a party, a party uh, liqueur and mixed with pineapple, it makes it a hit, okay? And what I like about this scent is that it doesn't, uh, the coconut scent, for me, is not strong, it's not overpowering, it's there, it's sophisticated, the good, uh, it has a perfect balance with coconut, okay? And some people ask me, you know, does it smell too banana-y? Uh, no, I didn't smell uh, the banana to be too strong, it's a hint of it, so it's perfect amount. Okay, for this candle, I use an L LCS 80, LCS 80 and it gave me an almost perfect male pool with no suit very I was very happy with the flame okay I got some mushroom but I didn't get uh, any suit okay the blend of coconut it says not too strong make this summary scent happy uh, this is what I call a happy memory maker you know once you go uh, once you find a scent that you love, you know, and you're having a great time at that moment, the scent is going to be embedded on your brain. So whenever you see a candle with that kind of notes, let's say you see a candle made of coconut, it's going to take you back to that memory, you know, or you have a phone and that's what's going to make you buy the product, you know, that's why I love this, you know. So this one is very good also for summer and for spring. 
Any questions for you guys? Okay, so let's go to candle number four, which is mango and gardenia. Okay, this is epic, but I wish the gardenia scent was more prominent. Oh, but that's me. Okay, this is a beautiful, a, a beautiful scent, guys. Let me uh, read you what I said. So for this candle, I used a CDN6, and the wick was perfect for this candle, okay? Uh, it had an excellent HD. It has a very deep, fruity mango scent, you know, and it's it's perfect combination with the gardenia, but I wish the gardenia was more prominent, okay? And that's, you know, that's, that's me, you know? Yes, beautiful, beautiful. And you know what, guys, if I want to, if I want to increase, this is why the beauty of candle making, if you want to increase the scent of a flower, you can always add a few drops of a gardenia uh, tuberose in here from, from Candle Science too. You know, there, there are many gardenia scents that you can mix with this to make it more prominent. So it's all, it's all for us to customize what we like, okay? But as a base, this one is very good. Okay, candle number five. Peter, hi Peter, welcome, and welcome to your daughter too, yes, I hope you're well, we're having here a good uh, live stream, you know, everybody is having fun, I'm uh, reviewing Candle Science's new fragrance, all for spring and summer, and now I'm going to candle number five, and candle number five is Moonflower and Nectar, <sighs> this is perfect for a romantic evening too, guys, okay. So for this one I used, um, what kind of wig did I use for this one? I don't, rem I don't remember. I don't remember what wig I used for this one. Oh, I have it in here, hold on. I used an LX18 for this, for the wig on here. Uh, the, fl uh, the flame was kind of high for me, so I, I wasn't too, too crazy about this one. Okay, it gave me a strong HD again after three days. I was very pleased. Okay, it filled the room and in a very soft, romantic way, you know, it gives you like, it created a, that essence, like uh, that vibe of romance and beautiful. And that, that's the kind of fragrance notes that I, that I want from a candle line, okay? I love the complexity of the florals combination on this fragrance, okay? The base notes of amber, dark moss, and powder really makes this, okay? It's very comforting, very like loving. It's like, it's like in, it's, uh, embracing you. Beautiful. Yes, guys, any questions? I use a high gym and uh, genie. I use a uh, 10% in all of those. 10% fragrance low in all my candles. I did that because I was thinking, you know, I, I really wanted to do uh, like the HD test uh, yesterday. So I wanted to make it stronger, you know, just to make sure that I could get that. Uh, the hot throw, you know, to come through, and it did come through. Okay, number six, it's Seldemer. Oh my god. It's so, it's, you, you smell this, and you close your eyes, and you can't even hear the waves. You know, you even, you can't even taste the, uh, the saltiness of the ocean. It's beautiful, it's magical, okay? Uh, I say, I got, I got, I used in here a CD12. It gave me a lot of mushrooming. I didn't like it, you know? So, but you know, it gave me a full male pool, you know? A beautiful, strong HD in one hour. Very relaxing, very summery vibe, you know? Bishy type scent, okay? And what I like about this is the combination of citrus and cardamom on the opening note. It's very inviting, it's very inviting. It's very like, wow, you know, it's, Clean, fresh, you smell the saltiness from the ocean, um, beautiful, bring the summer home, okay? Very good. Okay, now the last one, okay, PS Hunters is asking me why are you trying different weeks, and the reason why I did this was because uh, there's a lot of people that have been, have been asking me, have I tried, have I tried this week or have I tried the, this other week? 
series. So I, I figured, let me just make this test using all the week series that I own. So that way I could give you, like, you know, I, I wanted to give you a visual of what they looked like when I was doing a, you know, a test candle. That's why I did it, you know? Yes. Okay, the last candle is White Eucalyptus. Okay. My goodness. Boy, was I wrong when I, when I gave this a thumb down at the beginning on, on video number one. This was my least liked uh, fragrance oil. And it turns to be, it, it turns out to be my favorite one now. After I made the candle, after I smelled the HD. Okay, why? Because it was, like I told you at the beginning, you know, it's like I'm I'm uh, with my sinuses and all that stuff. This opened up my sinuses. It made me feel like energized, clean, relaxed, and you know, it's I love it. You know, it's uh, my favorite. It has a lemon. Uh, 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 eucal I like it, the lemon and the musk and the eucalyptus. Um, no, the lemon and the mint together. Mix uh, the mint and the lemon and the eucalyptus together. It's like what gives me like that powerful, like opening up my my sinuses and makes you feel like invigorated, you know, and very, you know, that's what I really love about this, okay? And then I, I wrote in here, very calming aromatherapy scent, per perfect for year round. This is perfect for a year round, okay, guys? Um, yeah, I love this one. Again, I use PB600, 10% fragrance load on this, and um, you know, I'm very happy with the results. So, yes, and I truly believe that doing this testing like this, only doing uh, half the candle is better than doing the whole candle, you know? It's like, and I also did this, uh, uh, like I told you, weekless candle. Weekless meaning like if I want to change this this week, all I need to do is just pull it out. Pull it out. Pull it out. Let me get a uh, let me get a pair of pliers, so I'll show you. Always carry one of these guys. You know, if he, if the wig doesn't work, just pull it out and put a new one. That's why it's so convenient. You don't have to remelt the candle. You can just change and you can just put another wig series in there. And that's what I like about this. Yes. Look. Perfect. That's why, you know, it's, we need to save our money, guys. And if you can you do more with less, why not? Now, I have a question for you guys. I'm going to be making a, I want to make a gold candle that looks like gold. Now, I'm planning to use a gold leaf for that. And can you tell me which gold leaf is appropriate to use on candles? Because I have no idea. You know, when I go to Amazon, they tell you that everything is okay, but you know, I, I'd rather talk to you guys. Have you tried using gold, gold leaves inside your candles? And you know, I know gold mica doesn't work because I tried it already, um, but gold leaf, maybe putting a, a few gold leaves on top, maybe. Have you, had, have you guys have any uh, experience with that? Because I would love to try. Yes. Oh, P.S. Hunter, you're asking me how would I clean, how, how do I clean the vessels? You know what I do? I stick this on uh, in the freezer for an hour or two, and it comes right out. It comes right out, the wax. And then you just put hot water with one dish liquid, and, it, and then just clean it in. Yeah. Very easy. Put your, whatever candles you're not using, just put them in the freezer and they, they'll, uh, because the wax shrinks, so it comes off on the, on the sides. Before, I used, to use the, I, used to, I used to use a heat gun, uh, you know, I used to melt the wax. It was very messy, but this technique, putting it in the, in the freezer, it works every time. So try it out. Oh, wow, Etsy has some. Okay, so I'm gonna go to Etsy and, and 
I'm gonna go to Etsy and, and, and take a look at it, yes. Because I was planning to go to uh, to Michael's now and see what they have, you know. Uh, lean, okay, see, after HD, they settle under the wax, and when you are light, when you light it, it's like a present. <laughs> yes. I did that. I did I did a, a little bit of uh, mica, guys. Okay, Rashid, that, that's why I want to go. I want to go to Michael's and see what they have. Okay. Okay. Okay, PS Hunter, I'm going to try doing that. Go foil papers. Don't get the pieces. Okay. And what about, guys, have you ever tried any kind of uh, vegetable glitter? Does that, does that work? How does that work? I mean, is it, have you tried it? I don't use a double boiler because it's too messy and it takes forever. I have this grill in here that I, bought, I, I got at Walmart. Any kind of grill will work, okay? That's, I love that. Okay, Lynn. AliExpress uh, gold flakes. Okay, that's not, okay, guys. What about glitter? Have you tried uh, gold glitter instead of mica? I just want to make a bougie candle. I'm gonna I'm gonna start playing with colors because I want to get. Um, I know that I'm not gonna be able to get the the metallic finish because I'm not using glitter, uh, mica. But I want something that it looks like kind of goldish and that I can use. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Only, yeah, I don't melt uh, with glitter. Yes. The, I'm telling you guys, the double boiler, I have the double boiler in here. It takes forever and then it gets too hot. You have the steam of the water coming all over the place. And you know, if I had a kitchen with four burners, I mean, I do have, but, but I don't want to go to the kitchen to make candles because I have my pets. You know, the cats are very curious and there's cat hair all over the place. So I don't want the cat hair falling into my candles, you know? So, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna. Go, yeah, okay. I'm gonna do my research, you know. And I know the worst thing I can do is to buy stuff in Amazon because I know the Amazon is all this made in China stuff, you know, um, made in China stuff. And I know I'm not gonna be able to get you know, the stuff that I that I want. Okay. Okay, guys. If you don't mind, guys, I'm gonna end uh, the live stream here. I'm gonna end the live stream here, guys, because I'm. I'm getting a headache. I'm sorry, you know, but it's, it's just I just wanted to come to you guys and just just give you my uh, my review of the of the oils from Candle Science. So, guys, if you don't have any more questions, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you guys go, and I'm gonna see you next Sunday. Probably I'll be feeling better. So, okay, guys. So I'm gonna say ta ta for now. I'll see you next Sunday. I have a wonderful week, guys. Okay. I love you. I'm gonna check out Etsy. Thank you so much. Thank you everyone for coming and I'll see you in the next one. Yes! Bye, thank you so much.